What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie and if you're new to the channel, this is Hustle and Grow where I talk about mostly reselling and then sometimes I'll just go into some general business things because I feel like reselling is business and there's not enough business talk when it comes to reselling. And then sometimes I might go off on a tangent on some other stuff. Anyway, in this video, I am going to go through some of the stuff that I get I got in those uh, pallets. I, I did my pre-sort. So what, th what the pre-sort is for is to basically get out everything that has dates on it, right? Everything that has a clear expiration date, I need to get those things out first and then sort those things by expiration. See, like, things that are out of date, things that are short dated, and then things that, you know, got a good amount of time left. So I pretty much got that. I'm not going to go through every box because anything that didn't have a date, I kind of just put them back in boxes. I tried to, as part of the pre-sort, to put like items with like items for the most part. So when I go back through, it's easier. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not, that's the point of that first step is not to get everything perfect. It's just to get the expiration date and stuff out. So let's go through some of this stuff. All right. So I'll start right here because I was just trying to get these listed. These Elf Camo CC Creams. Um, there was only about four that was out of date that I kind of had to toss, but most of them were good dates or short dated. I had a few short dated that'll be out of date within the next two or three months. So that's good. This box is a bunch of these light solutions, not your mother's smooth moves. I got a bunch of these, uh, PTH, I think it's called. What is it? I think it's TPH. But I got that bunch of those in there. Uh, same brand, bunch of these bottles. It's all good condition as far as those things go. All right, over here we got a bunch of these. A couple of them with missing caps. We got some more miscellaneous stuff back here. These argan oil bottles. Those all look pretty new. A bunch of these Pantene curl affairs. Some of those with missing caps. More Pantene stuff. A couple of those was missing caps. Got these Nexus um, products. I think two of those, a few of those missing caps. So like, for instance, if it's missing a cap, it doesn't matter because it'll still sell on eBay. Or even something like this where you don't have even a spray top. What I would do is lot them up, right? Two, three, four, whatever. And I lot it up with something that does. So a person can just, after they use one, take it off, put it on the other one. Of course, you got to give a discount, but... That's perfectly fine. We got some Wet n Wild peanut palettes in here. Some LA Girl. This is all physician formula stuff that, that had expiration dates. These are long dated, short dated, and I want to say those are out of date. These are physician formula palettes. Um, I checked a few of them. None of them was messed up. This box has a bunch of sponges, Eco Tool sponges, a bunch of these little. I don't even know what these are. Is it like gently removes hair anywhere? So I'm like thinking like eyebrow hair removers and stuff, but that's all sponges and that type of stuff. These two boxes are full of Tresemme shampoos and conditioners. We got some e.l.f. products in there. These are these all have dates. So far, what I've seen is all are good for a good amount of time. They're just like hair and nail vitamins and stuff. This is some miscellaneous makeup, some Milani, Elf, L'Oreal stuff, just different stuff. Really wasn't that much of that. Flower, these are different shades of the liquid Kajals. Bunch of different shades of Milani foundations, liquid foundations. These are a bunch of flower lash mascaras in there in that box. This box is nothing but e.l.f. palettes, various types of e.l.f. palettes. It's a big box too, man. It's a big box. Most of them are good. There are some broken ones, of course. Another full box of physician formula makeup, various kinds. These all have expiration dates. Not sure what the dates are. I know I've seen some that was out of date, some that was in, some that was broken. So stuff like that, I'll lot up and just sell it as is. And somebody at some point will buy it. Trust me. This full of flower, I think it's concealer, full coverage concealers, different shades. These two boxes here are various head and shoulder products and some sell some blue stuff. Most of that stuff is in date. I didn't see anything out of date as far as that goes. These three boxes 
There's three big boxes for all twist products. So you got this, this, this. It's three boxes full of various types of that stuff. This box is full of anomaly, some. I think it's mostly anomaly. I might have threw this in here by accident. This was supposed to be really just anomaly stuff. This big box. Ugh. That's actually a really big box. It's full of LA Girl Pro Mac concealers. Or foundation, sorry. A bunch of different shades. Probably 99% of those seals are still intact, so won't have to throw much of that away. This box is not some Nazarol Dangerous Shampoo and these red lice kits again. This all stuff has dates. All that stuff is in date. We got more Physicians Formula stuff that has dates on it. Didn't check them all yet. This is all Think L'Oreal stuff. True Match Powder and Foundations. None of these had dates on them. It's just a mixture of some stuff in there. It's a bunch of e.l.f. products in here. None of it had dates, so that's nothing I have to worry about. Under here, I'll move for some of these. So this is just stuff that I kind of you know, separated as I was going along, some elf palettes, and different stuff like that. Like some of the small stuff, I just kind of separated as I went along just to make it easier when I go back to right. This box, I think I only put these two types of products in this box, so it should be not your mother's curl top. Strictly curl. I think that's the only types of things that are in that box. This just got like, let me see, a bunch of different shampoos and conditioners and things like that. This is another full box of Physician Formula products. These are not dated. I actually got about two and a half boxes, so that's a full box. That down there is a full box. And... This is a partial box. So, well, not two and a half boxes, so it looked like more like two and, less and a quarter. This one, these are some palettes. I think it's LA Girl and some Essence palettes. Some of those palettes are selling for a pretty good amount on Amazon, too. And this, and this is one of the ones I really didn't put nothing together. I just kind of threw all this stuff in here. It's just mixed up stuff. We got much more elf products in that one just some mixed stuff got some elf in there herbal essence um, I had a bunch of these different raw type of products a bunch of different kinds like here a bunch of stuff in there so all these boxes this is stuff that I categorized as I went along. Yeah, LA Girl, LA Girl, Elf, bunch of those. I think it was like two, come on. There have been like two bags of those, two bags of these, these Milani um, lipsticks. I think I ended up having three bags of those. There's a lot of that. Over here, categorized all that stuff. More lipstick, more Elf products. And then if you look, Still got those 10 boxes of L'Oreal, Maybelline, and NYX I gotta go through. But I know that the majority of that, well, I've never seen anything in that stuff that has dates, so none of that stuff is probably dated, so I don't have to worry about it right away. So I, that was just a quick overview. I'm not really trying to go back through everything because then I gotta move all those boxes around again and all of that stuff. But that's the, pretty much my process when I get a lot of stuff like this is to pre-sort everything if there, it will be a little bit different if there were no dates, of course, but because then I will put all like stuff together as I, as I sort. And I usually put all my boxes out and I line them up and stuff. But because there was dated stuff, my main thing was to get everything out that has an expiration date, categorize that stuff, and get that listed. 
And as I go, if I can, you know, put like items with like items. And then if it started taking up too much time, I didn't want that to be my main focus at the time. But now when I go back through on my second step is the things that I know I put together that are all like items. I'll start with those, put those together, check their conditions. If they're less than perfect and I can't sell them on eBay or Amazon I'll, or not eBay or Walmart or Amazon. I'll put them to the side for eBay. Anything that's perfect condition and is worth selling on Amazon, I'll put that to the side for Amazon to either create a batch to send in or, you know, do uh, fulfill it myself. And then things that are for Walmart, I'll do for Walmart. I honestly think that a good, if not all, a good portion of this I'm going to keep and just fulfill myself, whether, and this is eBay aside, um, between Walmart and Amazon. It just depends. But one of the reasons is that I make more selling on Walmart than eBay because of the fact that you only got the percentage that they take for items. You know, I think it's 10% for anything under 10 bucks and it might be 15, 12 or 15 for anything over 10. I can't remember, but that's it, right? There's no platform fee right now. Um, as whereas Amazon, if I send it in to be fulfilled, FBA, those fees go up, of course. And yeah, you got the time aspect of it. And do I want to waste the time fulfilling it myself? But at this point, I, I'm, I'm really starting to feel like I need to maximize the profits that I can get through the Walmart platform uh, while things are still the way they are. You know, telling how long that's going to be the case and, you know, before they start charging sellers and things like that, which I think they got some wells to go for that because they got a lot of issues on the back end, which you know, would be an issue if you're trying to charge somebody for that <laughs> and you having these types of issues. But eventually I, I feel like that's going to change. Of course, anything that I have a lot, a lot of units of, I'm going to cross post those because I don't really have to worry about overselling and I can keep track. And one of the things I do with that, that make sure I kind of remind myself is if I do two things and this is kind of like a fail safe to keep me from forgetting to, to uh, delist something. So first thing I'll do is I'll put in my SKU number, I'll put the number in the item, but then I'll, you know, also add a tag that says something like CP, which stands for cross posted, and then the platforms that is cross posted on our abbreviated. So it might say something like CP AMZ WAL or CP AMZ EB for eBay. So if it's on all three, it'd be CP AMZ WAL EB. So I'll know that. But then whatever items it is, let's say if it's in this small bag, it can be in a box, whatever I put it in, I put a tag on the outside, just a sticky note I take. And then that sticky note will say the same thing. It'll say CP, like that says CP, eBay, Walmart, right? So then I know that the items in here are cross posted. So when I sell them, the first thing I'll do when I go pull these items is I'll make sure I go to the other platform and I change that quantity. So then I got it in my SKU, that lets me know, but because I used to find myself, you know, I, I, I'll put it in the SKU and I'll say, okay, this is cross post. I got to remember to change it. But by the time I pull all my items, get the shipping labels and stuff, like I, I'll be done forgot. And next time I remember, it'll be when they oversells on the other platform. This acts as a fail safe. And then my main rule is as soon as I pull it out of a bag like this or a box that has the tag, I, the first thing I do before I go pull another item or do anything else is I go to that platform and I change the quantity. These are kind of getting down now, so I can probably, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll take, if it was selling more on one platform over the other, I'll just take it off the other one. That way I don't, I don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? So, but if I got multi quantities of an item that 10 or more units, that's kind of what I do. You know what I mean? Or if there's something ain't been selling on one platform, I might keep it there and then cross post it and still keep that tag on there as a way to remind myself. But. That's kind of what I got going on. I just wanted to let y'all see that. When I start going through the other box, I'll make a video showing some of that. If you got any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer. I can't promise that I'll give you the answer you're looking for because I'm not gonna tell you where I got the stuff from if you ask that question. As far as if you need help trying to figure it out, I can definitely help you with that. So. Do me a favor, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified next time I upload another video.